So I think it's fantastic the way um, Taste of Edinburgh has developed in the way it has. It's done really well. I mean, and now it shows you a great food culture happening in Edinburgh. So it's, it's, it's an exciting place to be food-wise, like London, you know. My favourite bit of Scottish produce um, right now is scallops. You know, you've got the best scallops and the best lobster. Shellfish is second to none. But I have to say, Scottish produce is some of the best in the world. You know, having lived and worked here for quite a while, you know, I've had, had a real passion for it. But then you've got the game in the winter season as well. And of course, the Scotch beef, you know. I could go on and on and on. Forage, mushrooms and stuff. Scotland's just like Britain's larder. It's fantastic. So I do quite a lot for charity really, a, a fair bit, you know, and Action Against Hunger is one of the uh, main charities I support, so coming up here to do a pop-up restaurant for it, it's, it's, a, it's more of a pleasure than anything else, you know, we've been, the supply, Scottish suppliers have been so generous, they've given us all their stuff for free, so we're just showcasing the best of Scottish produce and everything that we sell goes directly to Action Against Hunger, it's fantastic. The advice I'd give anybody wanting to, wanting to come out and start cooking, you know, cooking for a living, is, uh, is hard work. Hard work always will see you through. Go to the best restaurant you can, Go cook in the best establishment you can, work hard at it and you'll grow quite quickly. When I started cooking, I always, I always looked up to the uh, Rue brothers and the Rue family, you know, so the Gavroche, you know, and, and the Waterside Inn, and I had the opportunity to work for them, and uh, they've always done me very well. In fact, it was, it was Michelle Rue Jr. who sent me up to Scotland when I, when I used to live here. Yes and no. I think there's there's lots of um, there's lots of good things to be said about it. Definitely, it does take some chefs out of the kitchen a bit too much on, on possible occasions. So, I might, my advice is to anybody. What I say is, don't leave your kitchen unless you really have to. It's a tough one to say whether I see myself going more of a TV route or not. I think my aspirations have always been very much restaurant based to be honest. And, um, and I think you should never forget your roots and that's what my roots are. Um, so going forward I'll stick with my restaurant and what happens, happens I think.